This translation provides strong evidence that the cult religion's heretic doctrines have manipulated the truth and that they are the irresponsible machinations of unscrupulous men, some of whom were hired by the Holy See. Others were foolish, fanatical, in a deranged state of consciousness, or power-hungry human beings who, without hesitation or scruple, misled humanity for thousands of years, shedding the blood of millions through murder. Furthermore, the descendants of these murderers and unscrupulous men established over the centuries and millennia mighty cult religious power capable of ruling over all humanity. In the course of past millennia the cult religions ruthlessly, and through bloody and brutal murders, fought their way to become the most powerful forces of the earth to which even brutal and dictatorial governments bowed down and still do. Cult religion, the most sordid pretext of maximum power in the name of false and mendacious love that literally walks over dead bodies without hesitation or scruple. Backed by the false doctrine of the New Testament, the Christian cult religion meddles in the politics of all countries. Moreover, it is not embarrassed to interfere in the most intimate family life of human beings, even in the bed of marriage partners in order even there to attack and destroy the last and most private secrets of human beings. Now finally has come the time when a stop can be put to all these unscrupulous activities, if man becomes sensible enough, revises his thinking and devotes himself to the real teachings of Jmanul. In all likelihood, all those who have bashed their heads against the brick wall of the cult religion's deceitful madness and are therefore no longer capable of normal and sensible thinking, will fight and oppose it with all means, and yet, their desperate fight will be in vain because truth will be stronger than any cult religious mania or dirty lie, even though the lie has been in existence for thousands of years. The scandalous falsehoods of cult religions will now be shattered and destroyed for good, no matter how much the cult religions and all their followers and advocates rebel against it. Finally truth will be victorious, even though it must be secured through great struggles, as it has been written in the scriptures, which say that the truth will provoke a worldwide catastrophe. However, truth is required and must no longer be silenced. A catastrophe will be understandable if one considers that the cult religions have attained immense power, which so far has enabled them to suppress, with murderous and sordid means, all truths directed against them. They will again attempt to do this, even if it means indulging in murder as has often been the case in the past. For this reason, the editor of this work will run the risk of being persecuted by order of the cult religions private fanatics and sect members, to be murdered or be handed over to the courts. From all this may the earthling at last realize what the cult religions are and with what type of bloody means they fight the truth, as it is only in this way that they are capable of maintaining their full power and control over the enslaved human beings. Here it must be pointed out emphatically that followers and supporters of the true teachings of Jmanul are just as much at risk as is the editor of this document himself. However, the editor is even more endangered because he is the contact man for extraterrestrial intelligences and very highly developed spiritual entities on exalted planes who transmit to him true spiritual teachings that he disseminates without modification thereby exposing the lies of the cult religions, which will lead to their slow but certain eradication. Isa Rashid, the discoverer of the burial cave and translator of the original scrolls, was equally endangered, so that years earlier he took the precaution of withdrawing from the church to live incognito somewhere with the family he had started in the interim. Conscious of the immense power of the cult religions, he wanted to conceal both his name and the original scripts from the public. He rightfully feared for his life and for those of his beloved family, all of whom since that time have become victims of the cult religion's persecutors, by whom they were assassinated. Long before this point in time, Rashid, under the seal of secrecy that his name not be mentioned, gave the translation of the scrolls to his good friend 
the editor, Edward Meyer. But it was not until 1974 that Meyer, in turn, received permission from the plane of Erhat Ather Sada to make the translation of the scrolls accessible to other interested circles. In 1963, Rashid on various occasions took his friend, Edward Meyer, to the actual burial cave of Jmanul, which was practically filled with a great deal of sand and dirt. In the course of excavations Meyer subsequently found various items that confirmed the contents of the scripts. Unfortunately it must be mentioned that the document is no longer complete, since various pieces of the scrolls were completely illegible and decayed. Furthermore, some were obviously missing. What was preserved nevertheless bears shocking witness that in the course of two millennia an infamous false doctrine, a web of unequaled lies, was manufactured around the person of Jmanul in order to erect a cult religious power and unscrupulously end Slav earthlings all this truly at the cost of misled, trusting and unaware human beings and their belongings, and above all at the cost of innocently spilled blood through the dirty intrigues of the Holy See calling which deceitfully preaches love for the purpose of exploitation, enslavement and assault of people on earth. It is very rare that one individual succeeds in publicizing themes and truths that clarify causal connections or at the least shed some light on them when they pertain to cult religions or political matters. The existing practice proves that, as a rule, such human beings were unscrupulously persecuted, tortured and murdered. Forces called to the fore appear promptly knowing how to place the truthful contents of a statement into a dim light. To them many means is justifiable to make truth itself into a travesty. But that is not all, because as soon as anything is published and disseminated that clarifies causal relationships and truths concerning cult religions or political matters, then, the publications are taken out of circulation with the help of clergy, police, government agencies, courts, the powerful of the cult religions and their fanatical followers. The publications are safeguarded or destroyed to continue depriving the earthling of the real truth, letting him starve and perish woefully in his misery of false thinking and false teachings, because only in so doing can he be further exploited to his last drop of blood, particularly by governments and cult religions. The German version of the Talmud manual does not correspond to the original translation from ancient Aramaic because Isa Rashid neither mastered the German language sufficiently nor was he familiar with the code of the mission to the point that he could have drawn up the German version. The German version does represent a copy of the translation from ancient Aramaic, but in a form that has been corrected by Edward A. Billy. Meyer and supplied with the code required by the mission. Thus, the German version represents a product 80% of whose style and sentence structure was achieved by Edward A. Meyer, while the remaining 20% must be considered Issa Rashid's translation effort. Getting the German version spelled correctly, according to the ancient linguistic form, as well as the mission's required coder comprised slightly more than four times the work input and energy required for the translation from ancient Aramaic. The Editor, Billy Edward Albert Meyer T.H.E. Talmud O.F. Manual